Hello everyone. Welcome to the computer network practical series. Today we'll be doing the practical uh, routing information protocol version one, RIP version one. And this is the topology we're using. So here we have this uh, three routers: router zero, router one, router two. And uh, each router is connected to a switch. And then we have three PCs. So as you can see here, we have PC zero, one, two. And here in the second, to connect it to the second PC. Three, four, five, and here six, seven, eight. So there are nine pieces, three routers, and three switches. This connection is, uh, of course, Ethernet connection. There are three Ethernet connections. You can. This is the Ethernet. Okay, this, this, and this one. And then we have a serial interface. So we'll first get this topology on the Cisco packet tracer, and then uh, here this is the IP address we'll be using. So on the on router zero, we'll be using interface G zero slash zero. And this is the IP address of that particular interface. This is the network address. Then for other uh, interface 010. Okay, this 010 will be connected with this router 010. Okay, and this are uh, the IP address. We just note down this IP address. We'll be configuring the entire topology using this particular IP address, uh, the default gateway as, the, as well as the network address. So let us do this on the Cisco packet tracer. So that was what how we connect the PCs with the switch. Now before connecting the router, we need to add the serial interface. So I click on router zero, okay. And here, as we zoom in, you can see this is green. We'll just turn it off, okay. After turning it off, we click this HWC 2T, okay. place it here and turn it on. We do this on other two routers also, okay. Turn it off. Connect this here. Turn it on. Then come here. Okay. Uh, again, turn it off. Connect this and turn it on. Okay. Now we do the connection for the routers with the uh, among the routers as well as the switch. So first of all, we select this particular wire, this wire, okay. and we can select any of the fast Ethernet. And here, see there are six interface available. I am connecting this gigabit zero zero. Ethernet gate zero zero. Okay. Similarly, here also, this is gigabit zero zero with any of the interface fast Ethernet, and here also the same thing, gigabit zero zero. You can select any of these two, but you must remember what our choice. Then we have to connect a serial interface between these two according to the topology. According to the topology, we have this zero one zero of this is with zero one zero of this. Okay, and then. Uh, Zero one one of this with zero one one of this. Okay. So this is how we make the connection. Okay. Now we'll configure the each, each PCs and the router with the IP addresses. Okay. So we click on PC zero. Okay. Desktop. I'll just show one. This address ten dot zero dot zero dot. It is two. Okay. And this will automatically come. This default gateway is ten dot zero dot zero dot one. Then we come to the second PC. Desktop. This address is 10.0.0.3. Then default gateway is 10.0.0.1. Similarly, this is 10.0.0.4. And default gateway is 10.0.0.1. So this is how we configure the the first three PCs of this network. Similarly, this one, this PC is to uh, we'll configure the IP address of this and all the other PCs. Similarly, okay, let us see how it.
next we configure the routers as we can see this all red red is there and we have not called not assigned the ip address to the interfaces okay so we'll assign this particular ip address okay uh, for router 0 there are two interfaces g00 zero zero, there is gigabit 00, zero interface this is the ip address for that interface and then the other interface serial which we have connected to the another router zero s zero slash one slash zero the ip address 192.168.0.1 so let us see how we can do this so click on router and then uh, we go in the cli mode if it is physical we have to go to cli mode okay and then uh, just put enter press enter we get this okay now we can enter the commands first enable command okay we get this prompt and then configure terminal then we have to go we have to select the interface so as we know we have we have to select the interface gigabit okay interface g, g, g means gigabit ethernet and zero slash zero so this is the command which we have to type to go into that particular interface now we type the ip address so the ip address ip address is a uh, 10.0.0.1 space then uh, 255.0.0.0 enter so this address is entered okay now one more command is required as you can see this is red to turn it on that particular interface on so this is this interface is actually g00 okay so we just type the command no shut no shutdown so it will just turn on that particular interface as soon as i enter it, it turns green so it is green now we have to go to the second interface so we are for in the in that gigabit inter, inter, uh, interface so i just exit from here okay and then we need to select the particular interface so this is our interface s010 okay 010 okay so we type the command interface okay interface s serial okay so it is 0 slash 1 slash 0 010 okay now the IP address, I try type the IP address. It is 198. Sorry, 192.168.0.1, dot one six eight dot zero dot one, and the subnet mask is two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Okay, and here also we have to type the command no shutdown. Okay, so this actually this is what we have configured but it won't uh, actually turn green because we have to we have to also turn on this one though then both will become green together now this was the first uh, this was for router zero we'll do this for the router one as well as for router two also
Now, after just uh, putting the IP addresses on the interfaces, even if we now try to ping one PC from the other network, we'll just type the command ping. Uh, that is 30.0.0.4. Okay. Now it is written destination host is not reachable. So what we will do is we have to set up the routing path. So we use that RIP protocol. So I just go to router zero. Okay, in the CLI mode. Okay, this is the CLI mode. Okay. So now enable. Then config terminal. Configure terminal. So here we have to type router IIP, RIP, the command router RIP. That is we have to enable this RIP. Okay, this is enabled. Now we in this case we have to type the networks which are connected to this particular router. Okay, so as we can see the diagram, uh, these are the two networks. So we have to add this, these two networks. We have to add into that particular uh, commands. Okay, we have to add this in the second router. We will add these three networks in the third we we'll add these two networks okay. so the first router as we can say this router is connected to this zero router zero is connected to these two networks the second router is connected to this 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 and this and the last router router 2 is connected to two networks so we we'll add this okay. so uh, we come to this command router zero okay so we need to in this case we'll add the networks so we'll just type the command network network that is 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. Okay. the second network is uh, is uh, actually 192.168.0.0 okay. so our IP has been set in this case in this particular router now we go to the second router click here okay. in the CLI mode okay. enable then config terminal then router RIP now we will add three networks here actually so network 1 is 20.0.0.0 .0 then uh, we have the other network is 192.168.0.0 .0 .0. And the last network is uh, 1.0. Okay, 1.0. So these are three networks. We exit from here. Then uh, the last router. Okay, so the CLI mode. Okay. Okay, so it is config if so we'll just exit from here. We have to go in this particular. Actually, it should be in this particular uh, prompt so that we can write router RIP router RIP it was only in this particular configuration so RIP then we add two networks network uh, one is 30.0.0.0 and the next network is 192.168.1.0 okay we exit from here now this is done sorry exit so this is exit okay now we have set up the RIP protocol now let us check if uh, are we able to now ping that PC from this PC. I am going to command prompt. Okay, so this ping 30.0.0.4. So this is the address of this IP address of the last PC, rightmost. So now let us see if the ping works. If the ping works, then we are done. Okay, you can see we are able to ping. So this is the success. Okay, we are getting the success. The reply is coming from there. Now let us ping this PC zero from the last PC8 so go in desktop then in command prompt ping with the left leftmost so 10.0.0.2 as you can see reply is coming okay so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching